Hey friends, how's it going? It's Richard Quo, and this week's video is gonna be a little bit different from all the other videos that I normally do. Usually I have like a topic and it's kind of script, not scripted, but um, I know what I'm gonna talk about. This week's video, I don't, uh, I'm gonna, it's more vlog style. I'm just gonna say whatever's off the top of my head uh, because it's about feeling defeated and I felt defeated these past two weeks. Before I dive into more of the vlog style video, uh, in case you're here to learn something uh, but based on the topic of feeling defeated, the one quick lesson that I learned this past two weeks or so is, uh, for example, if you're feeling defeated, if you're feeling like, if you're feeling like, um, you know, you, you're getting rejected, you're not good enough, you're inadequate, um, and you just, you just feel like giving up, like there's no point, then the one thing I want you to know is that... You know, we, we, everyone faces these problems and we all get po points where we just, uh, we feel so defeated. We feel so bad. We just feel like, oh, like I just want to curl up in a ball and not exist. And that's how I felt these past two weeks. So my quick tip to you is to feel it, feel it, let yourself feel that pain and just embrace it. Like accept it. Like, Hey, life sucks right now. Yeah, it's cool. Because it's going to help us grow. It's going to help us become better people. And uh, it's difficult. I, I, I get it. And and here's the thing. Uh, like Eric Thomas, a famous motivational speaker, says, um, pain is temporary. Like, it's always going to go away. And it's just, how are you going to use that pain? Um, are, you going to, are you going to just keep feeling bad about it? Or are you going to do something with it? And uh, I got to practice what I preach, too, about this, too. So... Um, I'm not saying that I'm perfect with it and I'm still learning and that's what the second half of the video is going to be about. Okay. So hopefully that was a quick tip for you. Now I'm going to dive into more of the vlog, uh, just talking about what's been going on this past week. And I kind of want to change my tone right now. Just right now I want to change my tone because I'm, I'm like talking at you, to you, whatever it is, the normal way I do. And I just want to be myself. I want to be like, I'm talking to myself, just being very open uh, so right now I'm, I'm going to dive in and this is where it's going to get really touchy feely. I, I really don't know what to expect to be honest. Um, first of all, I want to let you know that I recorded the first edition and I guess you can click the link right here. It's like 20 minutes of ranting, like just being in my head and I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I, I'm, I'm going to try to shift right now uh, and just approach this from a different mindset where I could just be free. I could just be open and, but still get to the core. So you're not bored out of your mind. Like if you watch this video, I'll link it right here or I'll put it in the description too. Okay. Um, it's going to be an unlisted video because it's random ranting of nothingness. Um, but it's, it's just to show you how raw, raw and real it is that I don't always think very quickly. Like I might seem when I make these videos, that I normally when I make these videos I have to process this information, but this one is just, it's me in my everyday element, okay? Um, but if you don't want to watch that video because it's just 20 minutes of nothing, I'm going to try to do it right now and be a little bit more concise about it. And I know, I know I'm just repeating myself. So whew, here we go. Okay, so these past two weeks, sorry, I, I got to slow down because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be in that, YouTube mode of presenting information. I just want to be real. Um, so these past two weeks, I've been, I've been feeling defeated uh, for m multiple reasons. Uh, the first one is I. Okay, so the summary is I, I've had uh, I've allowed all these little things to to add up uh, in my life. All these little problems that uh, normally okay in my past like high when I was a high school student. I used to let these little things pile up and then not deal with them. And then I, I get really frustrated and, and angry and stuff like that. But today I know better. I know that if I have a problem, boom, address it right away. But the issue was these past two weeks or month or three months, I, I don't know, for a while, I, I've had these little things pile up and I haven't addressed it at the root, at the source right away. Boom, get it over with. And what that's done is it's made me feel really just like really, I don't know, irresponsible. It's made me feel like, it's made me feel like 
um, that I'm kind of a failure. Like, here I am wanting to be a motivational speaker, wanting to set an example for people, yet I'm not following myself. And then um, I, I beat myself up for it. And even posting videos like this, um, I feel okay right now, but part of me almost feels like, man, what if, what if a, what if a activities director or someone who wants to hire me to speak at their school sees this video and sees that I'm not this perfect person that I'm putting up these videos that are not so perfect and that I'm not setting a good example for high school students because, you know, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself to, um, to set that example for high school students um, while still being real about it. Like, I, I want to be as vulnerable as possible, but I almost feel like there's like a, in politics, there's like a boundary of how real you could really be. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm honestly, I'm trying to break that boundary right now. Like, in general, like, I, I just want to be myself. I want to be able to connect with you and, and help you as much as possible. Okay, so anyway, feeling defeated. I've, a lot, a lot of, I've let a lot of things pile up and not address them. Um, I have a lot of different things. I think the most relevant one to you, uh, I'm going to talk about dating. So these past two weeks, two weeks, I've, what? I don't even know why, I don't even know why this started. So these past two weeks I've been on, I've been on online dating, uh, okay, Cupid, Tinder and, uh, coffee meets bagel. Like the, yeah. And I've been, I don't know why I've been so active on it. Uh, maybe it's because I'm bored. Maybe because I'm lonely. I have no idea. Uh, but I've just been trying to connect with as many females as possible. And I think part of it is because I have this need to recent need of wanting to feel accepted or something like that. Um, I've been single for six years and for the most part for these past six years, I've been pretty cool about just being single. Like I, I've loved being single, having the freedom to do whatever I want to. And yeah, just feeling like a relationship would be like a suck away from that freedom. But then I read a quote yesterday. Someone posted on, on my Facebook or on, on their feed, um, that if you feel like, if you feel like, uh, the person you're in a relationship with is taking away your freedom, that means you're doing it wrong. You know, you should be enjoying it together. And I, I totally agree with that. Back to my point, dating, on, uh, specifically online dating right now. Uh, so I've been really active. I've been, I think I messaged like, let, let's start with OkCupid. So OkCupid, you can message anyone you want. Uh, so I messaged probably around, I would say a dozen, 12 girls uh, in the past two weeks. And just wanting to connect with them, just wanting to wanting to uh, learn more about them and just really just explore myself as well. So I've tried multiple techniques of contacting girls. I said, hey, I think you're cute. You know, just being, I, I try to be very open about it. Try, I am pretty open about it. So <laughs> I try to be very open, authentic when I contact people. So I usually start off with saying, hey, I think you're cute. And you know, I like to meet up or whatever it is. And hook up. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> now I'm just being real, huh? Uh, this, this shit's getting. Oh, excuse me. Stuff is getting really real now, huh? Okay. Um. Yeah. So. I've caught, I've contacted girls and what? Am I allowed? <sighs> All right, cool. I'm going for it. Dang. All right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm straight up. Okay. I'm, I'm straight up a little nervous right here. Um, I like to keep my personal, you know, we all like to kind of keep our personal lives personal. Um, so we, in terms of online dating, I think I'm, I'm curious now. I'm really curious about myself, about sexuality, you know? And I think 
Although I'm not like super, super, super curious, you know, I'm still a little curious. And I think um, with online dating, part of it, like I, I absolutely do care about people. I, I love people for who they are. I love, uh, I love human beings. I, I love learning about people, but I'm, I think there's a part of me who that's also sexually curious. My goodness, why I, I can't believe I'm talking about this, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to. It's okay to feel what you're feeling. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, I probably said that with a little, little bit of awkwardness. Um, it's a new field for me, sexuality. That is. Anyway, so. I guess I'm glad I'm. <sighs> I guess I'm glad I'm putting it on the table right now so I could get it off my chest and stop being so shy about what I feel because I know I'm just human. I'm just a human being like everyone else is. And, you know, we all have certain desires and I think a lot of us are afraid to share it. So there you go. I think I'm going to try being a little bit more honest um, about everything in my life. Um, yeah, okay. Wow, I just took a really... Up, oh, hit the 12 minute mark. That means it pause recording. Back to the point. <sighs> All right, so I just took a really small deal. I could have just brushed it off and not talked about it, and I just made it a big deal because apparently it's a big deal to me, and that's why I kept talking about sexuality. And now that it's been like the almost like I put too much attention to it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, moving on. Moving on. Um,. Yeah, so online dating, I reach out to girls, uh, about a dozen girls on OkCupid, and about six of them didn't respond, and in my head I'm thinking, okay, I'm sure half of those, so half of those three people didn't respond because they're just not active on OkCupid, I'm thinking the other three people who didn't respond is because whatever I said didn't interest them, and so, you know, like, that makes me a little self-conscious about myself, um, like, do I need, is it because I'm not attractive enough? Is it because, uh, you know, they don't like my profile? Like, w what is it? I, I always, I, I, part of me feels like I'm adequate. Like I have all these really neat talents and stuff like that. And like, why, why don't people just see it? Right. <laughs> and I think a lot of us, it's because a lot of us are closed minded. Uh, we make judgments about people and that's why we don't, uh, open ourselves to other people. I do it myself too. When girl, girls that before, when girls messaged me that I didn't find attractive, I used to just ignore it or you know just be like, oh, I don't want to waste my time with that. But now I try to be a little bit more open-minded. I try to, um, you know, I try to reply back to everyone because we're all human beings, and I don't think we should judge people just based off their attractiveness. You know, I at least I try to give not so pretty people a chance, even though. They're not so pretty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I almost said I'm a terrible human being. Um, I, I'm a human being. And, um, you know, it's just natural. Um, but, yeah, I, I do try to accept people for who they are. And, you know, like, not let looks get in the way of me accepting the true beauty of them being a human being. Okay, so dating. That was half. Half, the re half didn't respond. The other half responded. So... Six, that's in, in Taiwanese culture, they use this for six. So it's six. Uh, <laughs> that was so random. Uh, okay, so out of the six, okay, six people responded. Five people responded maybe like once or twice, and then they stopped responding. This made me feel really self self-conscious about myself. It made me feel defeated. It made me feel like I had to prove myself, that I had to say the right things. And I just, I'm like, right, like, why can't I just be myself? And why can't people just accept me? And I... Part of it, like, I understand people just want to, people just want to, people just want to, um, they have their own motives. They're probably looking for someone who's even more attractive or, oh, look, coffee meets bagel just buzzed me in on my phone. <laughs> okay. So, uh, anyway, five people didn't respond to me and, you know, honestly, subconsciously, internally, I feel a little bit like, dang. I wish I was cooler. I wish, I wish that people did respond to me. I wish that, you know, people recognized, dude, like, I'm a pretty cool guy, man. 
And unfortunately, some people just don't. And it, I, I can't take it too personally, but sometimes I do. Okay, so out of 12 people I message, six no responses, five responded once or twice, and then stopped responding. And then one person, one person uh, responded back to me. And uh, she's super sweet, like just really good with communication. Uh, always, we're texting each other back and forth. And um, like, honestly, I remember when she started texting me, I, I started feeling like, like I'd be so excited. I'd almost be like eager or what? Sure. Eager to like, to hear her response, like text message back to just, just to, you know, get that approval of like, Oh, she likes me or whatever. And if I didn't get that response back for a while, I'd feel kind of bad about myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I, okay, I, I feel kind of bad about myself, and, um, shit. I feel bad about myself, and then I feel like it's about me, and my, did I say something wrong? And I try to, you know, I would push myself to take risks in sending out, like, teases, uh, you know, flirting, or whatever you want to call it, and just kind of just have fun with it. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then if she didn't respond back, I'd feel bad about it because I'd feel like, oh, I said something wrong. But I feel like we should all be able to just say whatever we want to say and not worry about what the other person thinks. And if they don't respond, not take it personally um, and just be confident with who you are. That, that's really what it's about. Okay. Yeah. So why did I mention that? And what does it have to do with uh, feeling defeated. So I feel a little bit better. Okay. So this is just being real and I know there's a better way to look at it, but, um, I feel defeated. I'm feeling a little bit better right now because she's been responding back to me. But if she did not respond back to me, then I'm letting my situation, let's say, you know, that I got 12 girls, 12 out of 12 girls who are not talking to me. And I made the effort to reach out to them. That would make me feel like crap. Uh, but she is messaging me, so I feel a little bit better. But here's the thing: we can't let our we can't let our situations dictate our life. You know, we have to know that we are good enough, and it doesn't matter what the outcome is. Outcome is. It's really about how we interpret it. Um, so here we go. Now, now I'm battling uh, with myself. I'm battling this idea that. Hey, Richard, you know, you're supposed to be a better person. Don't take anything personally. Don't be offended by anything. You know, you know, you have all the tools you need. Follow your own advice, Richard. But sometimes I don't feel like following my own advice. And, um, and then I feel bad about it because, you know, I don't practice what I preach. I, I give you, I give you all these, these amazing tips every single week. Uh, and sometimes I don't, very oftentimes I don't consistently follow what I say. And that makes me feel bad about myself. So I'm still learning to do that. I'm still learning to follow my own advice to practice what I preach. And um, it's a work in progress. I'm still trying to figure out life, to be honest. Um, and I'm only sharing with you whatever I've learned along the way from other people, from different hearing different stories, from reading, everything like that. So uh, yeah, hopefully that's helpful for you. And um, till this day, I think I'm, I'm still a little bit stuck. Uh, I, do I feel a little bit defeated right now? I do. I do. I, I feel like I'm still trying to figure out myself. I, I'm still trying to get back on track to find that motivation to keep going and uh, provide value to you, to be honest. Like, I have certain expectations for myself that I'm not meeting, which is for my YouTube channel, I want to be able... I want to be, like... I want to be so committed to you that I'm just naturally just posting videos ahead of time, you know, and just creating content ahead of time instead of doing it the day of and then posting the video because I feel like you would get so much more value if I actually put in the thought uh, in it. And I I guess what I'm saying is I, I feel a little bit disconnected with my own passion and I know I want to help people. Um, and I've felt that passion before, but it's, it's kind of just disappeared. It's kind of just gone temporarily. 
and I'm looking for it and I'm waiting, I'm almost waiting for it and I know I shouldn't be waiting for it because I need to just take action. I don't know. I don't know. And then that makes me beat myself up because I feel like I should be on top of these things like all the other successful motivational speakers out there in the world. Um, and I'm just an average motivational speaker, um, average person who's just not accomplishing the goals that he was set out. Um, and I like to think that I'm, you know, I'm up there. Like, I have a lot of potential, yes, and I like to try to pursue pursue that but in being real there's so many hardworking people out there so many hardworking people in my field that are doing fantastic amazing incredible things and I'll admit like I'm not at their level right now and uh, I I am okay with that and I think each day for me it's important that this is my journey and that every single day I'm just following my journey you know, and, and not not comparing myself with other people, but just taking one step at a time to be a better person for myself and not other people. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I, I don't exactly know where this is going, but I guess, you know, I just appreciate, thank you so much. If you're still watching this, <laughs> I don't know why you're still watching it, but uh, hopefully you found it interesting. No, for real though. Like, I, I want to know what, what your thoughts are about seeing me talk and just being very open about me. Um, and I don't know if you watched this, the other video there, like literally I'm doing almost nothing. I'm ranting about nothing and being stuck in my head because that's, that's how I am also. So let me know what you think. Um, do you think I'm still as cool as you thought I was before? or not as cool anymore, or even cool, I, I have no idea, and I, I, I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm, I still hesitate to talk about sexuality, like, that's, that's that one part of my life where I, I'm, I'm still shy to talk about, um, inappropriate, school say it's inappropriate, I don't think it's that inappropriate, inappropriate to talk about, like, I, I feel like we should be open about it, I feel like everyone has desires, Me too. <laughs> and we should just talk about it. So many YouTubers are out there, like they're they're so open about themselves. And I think that's inspiring. I, I wanna be like them. When I grow up, I wanna be like an 18 year old YouTuber who talks about sex and stuff. Yeah, I live in a pretty conservative, I grew up pretty in a pretty conservative environment but we don't talk about those things so I guess I'm curious I'm still discovering I'm sure a bunch of a uh, bunch of 18 year olds have more experience than I do <laughs> uh, yeah I'm still shy so if you want to if you want to pry that out of me you're gonna have to ask me questions and um, then maybe I'll answer I don't think I'll I'm I'm at that place where I just want to like hey I'll tell you everything about me Anyway, much love to all of you. Um, this is probably going to be the most useless video or the most useful video in my whole entire YouTube channel. So, or maybe just in between, like it, all, all the other average videos that I have. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video that was 10 times longer than any of my nor <laughs> normal YouTube videos. And, um, yep. I'm, I'm just looking forward to finding my passion, finding that drive to, to get me back on track. Um, and I'm just going to keep doing me. And you keep doing you. All right. Um, I'm a very, very normal human being. So feel free to reach out to me. Ask me any questions that you have. Uh, any comments, any suggestions for my life. I will try to be open. I think a part of me is still a little bit closed-minded. Um, but day by day, I'm learning to be a better person. All right. And I don't think I want to be like one of those successful world models. I just want to be me. I just want to be someone that people could relate to and yeah, and be okay with that.
So thank you. I want to keep talking. I feel like there's so much to talk about, but we'll keep it at that. All right. Peace. Is it time to go? I don't want to go. I feel like there's so much to talk about. Okay, so the, here's what, he, 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 this is this is what I'm gonna wrap this video up on. I want you to. Oh, clearly I hit the 24 minute mark because my video stopped twice, and it stops every single 12 minutes. So 24 minutes in. Okay, so here's here, I'm gonna wrap up this video really quick, and that wrap up is, is going to be. I want you to send me. Like, straight up, like, please send me, like, whatever thoughts you have, any questions you have about my life, about how I think, uh, any questions you have about uh, questions in life in general for yourself, because I just want to be real, I want to be here for you, and I, uh, dude, I, I appreciate if you're still watching this video, or even if you skip to this, this part of the video, because, like, dude, everyone has a busy life, so for you to be watching this, it, it has to mean something to you, at least, right? Um, yeah, so thank you. Please give this video a thumbs down. <laughs> I'm so mean to myself. I'm going to stop. Um, don't share with your friends. Don't add me on social media. And don't subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, well, who had the last laugh there? Mm, what's up? All right. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I, abs I love you all. I love you. Because um, I think humans are amazing and I think we should love each other, treat everyone with respect, love animals because we are all beings of this earth and um, I still eat chickens. I love chickens. I, I don't know if I should feel bad about that, but um, I, pref I, I like to treat animals and people with respect, even though I can't say I'm a big animal person. All right. I love you. All right. Get out of here. Peace.